today. From Ford Field in Detroit. It's a special Thanksgiving Day presentation of the NFL of EA Sports. Open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, our coverage kicks off with a good one here between the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Gibbs, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. But, Charles, this Thanksgiving tradition, so great. I mean, going back, essentially, through the full century of the NFL, I know you probably have a lot of fond memories of Thanksgiving Day football yourself. I certainly do, and I don't have the turkey bowl tradition. You know, the families that go out and play and then come in and sit down to their feast and watch football. I remember reading about, remember the Lions jumping on the Packers on Thanksgiving Day, the only loss the Packers had in 1962, and they sacked Bart Starr over 10 times in that game. And I remember Dave Williams from the Bears returning the overtime kickoff for a touchdown to win a game on Thanksgiving Day. I remember so many different things happening. But how much fun is it each and every year to know that you've got football on Thanksgiving Day? It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. On first down, Gibbs. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step. And that's a big pickup right there on first down. On second down. It's Gibbs, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. 52 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Gibbs, and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run with Montgomery, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. 
David Montgomery. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Lions will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Love and the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Love now. Looking middle, and that's complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing. Love. They'll find the glory complete. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. On second down, it's Jones. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Buying time to his left. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter. 7-0 ball game. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Switching things up, they'll throw it now with Jordan Love. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
Here's Love. Eluding the pressure right. Touchdown, Packers! Romeo Dobbs, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And the quarterback was in the pocket, flushed out, had to go on the run, little scramble drill action, but still able to make the play for the score. Where is Sir Francis Tarkenton when you need him? I know that wasn't him on the field, but I see that number 10 running around right now, creating those types of plays. These guys today are emulating him. Wasn't sure you were going to get Sir Francis Tarkington into the broadcast, but you did, my friend. Well done. Hey, every now and then we got to bring back the old guys, don't we? Yeah. Extra point safely through, and we are tied at seven. A 10-play drive that time, and that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. The lane opens here. He's past the third position as he's up just shy of the 40. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Off the play fake, Booker. A pass complete downfield, it's Raymond. Touchdown, Detroit! Khalif Raymond, 60 yards, and the Lions have taken the lead. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. Love looking to throw it. Throw over the middle. Caught by DeGuara. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Dancing to his left. Got his man. It's Bo Melton. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. First down. Love to pass. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. That's multiple times now he's tagged them with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. 
From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Completed out left to Dobbs. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. This will be caught at about the six. Oh, and he's going to be brought down a few yards short of the goal line, and they're going to be unable to stop the clock from here. So close yet so far, and that's going to be how this first half will come to an end. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far, and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well, as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Gunn. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half, as this will be a touchback. And the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's out after a pickup of eight, second and two. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And this will be a Packers first down as the tackle made at about the 38. So he is able to turn that into positive yardage, but I think it's fair to say that those are not the shots you're wanting your quarterback to have to absorb. And he has to know sometimes when to say when. You have to know when to give yourself up, and let's face it, not easy for these guys to do because they're competitors as well. But sometimes you do learn your lesson the hard way, as he did there. First down, going to the air with Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. He'll get it inside the 20. And it's a Packers touchdown. Romeo Dobbs with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? <laughs> you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the book. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at 14. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. On second down now, it's Gibbs. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. 
Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Gibbs. And he is going to have the Lions first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. A nice throw there for the first down. And this is a big moment for this young man under center. You know, he's had a few months now to get acclimated to life in the NFL, but you got to think, a little extra pressure here, right, CD? I mean, you're getting the start on Thanksgiving in front of the national audience. Especially since you and I both know he's watched this game since he was, what, four, five, six years old and dreamed of playing in it. In fact, his family sent us some of those videos of he and his family in the backyard playing their turkey bowl games themselves. So now he's gone from the backyard to the big stage, and here he is. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Final minute now of the third quarter. They'll run on first down. Gibbs, and down to the 36-yard line here. 87 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Gibbs. And this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We're on to the fourth here on Thanksgiving Day. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Up the middle they go. Gibbs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Man open. It's St. Brown. He's got it. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Gibbs. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Lions answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, I mean, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout. And that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. 
Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Glove. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now, Love. And his throw is incomplete. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Love. He finds Watson complete. Yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. To throw now. Here's Love. A complete once again to Watson. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Working out of the gun. Love. And his throw here is incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Now Love. He'll complete this one to Watson. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Steps away to his left. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Now Jones. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the 8-yard line. It's second and goal back to the 8-yard line now. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. And it's caught! It's a touchdown! So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. That was quite the call down around the goal line on fourth and goal. Yeah, they fake the run, pull it out, throw it, and it's defense. I've been in that spot before, and we see it all the time. You almost have to overcommit against the run. You have to almost sell out and say, they're going to run it, go make a play. They got fooled on that one. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And Detroit getting set to go now. 
Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked his special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? He was looking for Josh Reynolds that time, but it's going to be second down. Back to throw. Booker. St. Brown on the catch. Able to get this all the way out close to midfield, just what the doctor ordered on play one of this drive and crunch time. First and ten, Booker. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gibbs. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And now they're going to get the timeout. A huge play has him in field goal range with a chance to win. So everything hanging in the balance, resting on the right foot of Michael Badgley. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Lions are going to win this game. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did, and just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from Ford Field.